Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll learn how to make a t-shirt easily by using cloth simulation in Blender. We have such a rigged and animated character. We gonna make a t-shirt with cloth simulation, and try it on the character. If you wish, you can watch the lecture about how to import animated character into Blender. First of all, we should enable the character to stay at the T-pose until the cloth wrap the character completely. To do that, let's select the armature, and go to pose mode. Go over the timeline, press G and drag the keyframes to frame 50. Let's press Alt-R, then Alt-G to clear the pose. Let's press I key, and add a location rotation keyframe to frame 1. Then, right-click and duplicate the keyframe. Drag the keyframe to frame 45. Let's play the animation. As you can see, the animation remains stable till frame 45. Now, let's go back to object mode and get started to make t-shirt. Let's press Shift A and add a plane. Let's press our key, then X key, and type 90 to rotate 90 degree on the X axis. Pray G key, then Z key and move the plane on the Z axis. Let's press numpad 3, then press G and Y key, move the plane on the Y axis. Let's press numpad 1 to go to front view. Press Alt Z and switch to X-ray mode. Let's press S key, and scale up the plane. Press S and X key to scale up on the X axis. Press G, Z and move the plane down a little bit. Let's press Ctrl A, and apply the rotation and scale transformations. Let's press Tab key and go to Edit Mode. Let's press Ctrl R, and add a loop cut in the middle. Let's select the left vertices. Press Delete key. Let's go to Modifier menu, and add Mirror Modifier. Let's enable the clipping option, so vertices cannot across the mirror plane. Let's press Ctrl R, then scroll up the mouse wheel, and add horizontal loop cuts enough. Let's add vertical loop cuts also in the same way. Let's select these vertices and delete them. Let's press A key and select all vertices. Go to Smooth Tool, click on it, hold down the yellow handle and drag it up. Let's set the smooth factor to 1. I don't want some vertices to be smooth. So, I will grab these vertices. Let's enable the proportional editing tool, and try to fit the shirt to body. Let's press A key and select all vertices. Press numpad 3 for side view. Let's press E key and extrude the plane. Let's press Alt Z and switch to solid view. Let's switch to face selection mode. Let's press C key and select these faces.
press delete key and delete the selected faces. Let's press C key again and select these faces. Press delete key, and choose the only faces. In this case, the edges will remain. These edges will be sewing in the cloth simulation. Now, it is time to add cloth physics. Let's go to physics properties menu and add cloth modifier. Firstly, let's choose what kind of cloth will be used in the simulation. To do that, we will use cloth presets. Go over the cloth presets, and choose the cotton. As you can see, the stiffness and damping values are changed. We can also change these values manually. Then, let's set the quality of the simulation to 20. Higher values will give better results, but it makes slower the simulation. Let's scroll down to cache section. I will set the end frame of the simulation to frame 200. Let's go to shape section, and enable the sewing option. So, when we play the simulation, front and back face of the shirt will pull together. Let's set the maximum sewing force to 10. And set the shrinking factor to 0.01. Let's go to collision section, and set the collision quality to 10. And set the collision distance to 0.01. Enable the self-collision, and set the distance to 0.01. Also, we need to add collision to character. Let's press tab key and go back to object mode. Select the character, and add a collision modifier. Set the thickness outer to 0.001, and friction to 10. Now, let's play the simulation and see what will happen. As you can see, there is a problem in the sleeve of the shirt. We can increase the maximum sewing force. Let's set the sewing force to 15, and play the simulation again. There we go. Let's right click and make shade smooth. Let's play the simulation again. As you can see, the simulation plays very slow. Because, Blender calculates and plays the simulation at the same time. So, we need to bake the simulation for smooth playback. Let's go to bake section and bake the simulation. baking process has done. Let's play the simulation again. We can play the simulation fastly and smoothly now. As you can see, the shirt cannot bend smoothly. We need to add subdivision surface modifier to the shirt. Let's go to modifier menu and add subdivision surface modifier. Increase the number of subdivisions to 2. We need also thickness of the shirt. Let's add solidify modifier. Set the thickness value to 0.02. The shirt looks better now. Let's play the simulation again. Order of the modifiers is very important. If we move the solidify modifier above the subdivision modifier, the result would be different. 
Also subdivision modifier must be under the cloth modifier. Mirror modifier must be at the top of the modifier stack. Now, let's add material to the shirt for viewport. Let's go back to first frame. Disable the solidify modifier for now. Switch to front view. Go to edit mode. Let's go to Material Properties menu. Add a new material slot. Press New button, scroll down to Viewport Display. Select the color. Let's select this face loop. Press Alt-Z and switch to X-Ray mode. So, I can select the back face of the shirt. Let's press C key, and select these faces. Let's scroll up, and add a new material slot. Press new button and add a new material for selected faces. Let's press assign button. Press Alt Z and switch to solid view again. Let's go back to object mode, and play the simulation. Go to modifier menu and enable the solidify modifier again. There we go. You can apply the cloth modifier at the frame you want. For example, go to frame 78. Note that you must apply the modifiers according to order. Let's apply the mirror modifier firstly, then apply the cloth modifier. Then subdivision modifier, and apply the solidify modifier at last. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.